I know we're, we're still quite far away from knowing who becomes president, but what's your hunch of how, you know, the, the COVID played in the polls? It seems that a lot of people were afraid of how President Trump handled it, but a lot of people are also afraid of going back into lockdowns. Well, I think there was one candidate who was really saying, let's defeat the virus, and another candidate who was saying, let's ignore the virus. And, you know, ignoring the virus is tempting because everybody wants to go back to what they were doing before and, you know, go out to work and do all those things. The, the challenge is ignoring the virus leads to a lot of deaths because the virus isn't ignoring us. And ignoring the virus really depresses people's confidence. And so the economy is harmed while there are raging infections. It's just not realistic to think you're going to have the economy uh, doing what it used to do when you have the kind of rates of infection we're seeing now with more than 90,000 cases on Election Day. Um, Josh, how soon are you know hospitals around the country in the U.S., but also certainly in, in European countries, how soon will they be overwhelmed once again by COVID patients? It all depends on what we do. You know, without, without a change, they're going to get overwhelmed. They're already overwhelmed in some states. I'm um, looking at some statistics. There are a few states that have no uh, intensive care unit beds. There are states that are open extra, opening extra hospitals. And, you know, with the way that the virus spreads, if it continues to be exponential spread, those will get overwhelmed too. So it really depends and, and it really requires leadership. And I think, you know, the, the politicization of the response where people feel like wearing a mask is tantamount to voting for one party or another has not been helpful. So at some point, you know, hopefully we'll turn the corner on that and people will be able to focus on the business of both defeating the virus and improving the economy. This is a contested election. This is a very, very close race, a razor-thin race, uh, Dr. Sharstein. Is there a concern that, as people think it, this is an illegitimate U.S. election race, that they'll stop focusing on how to handle COVID-19 and will take the appropriate precautions? Well, you know, I think that, you know, all, all, all that really has to happen is they just have to count the ballots that were submitted. And so I think there's obviously a lot of uh, hand-wringing about what might happen, but hopefully, you know, it's going to be clear at the state level that people are just following the procedures for counting the ballots, and uh, people can start to think about other important things, like protecting themselves from a deadly disease.